wood has this amazing way of absorbing energy and softening up everything. People that are true seafaring people that literally just live their life and sail around the world, they do it on wooden boats. It's just flexing with the movement of the water. And the same thing is true on a wooden surfboard. My name is Mike Lavecchia, and we're here at Green Surfboards in York, Maine. We build surfboards and teach people how to build boards and, you know, have fun playing with wood. I fell in love with wooden boats early on. I kind of sailed most of my life, and I got to the point where I wanted to spend more time on the water, so I got my captain's license, and I started working at sail lofts. I started to think about wooden surfboards. I'm Brad Anderson. I'm one of the owners of Green Surfboards. I had the notion of just getting a hold of old surfboards people were going to throw away, strip the glass off and reshape the foam and then re-glass them. So I was working on that little project and running around on my motorcycle picking up old surfboards and stuff. Then I met Mike and uh, I thought, this is interesting. Our process of building boards comes pretty directly from several techniques that are used for building boats. You start at the bottom and you build your way up. The frame gets pressed down onto the bottom planks and then the rails get built up around. So they're built up one at a time. And then on top of all that, a, another panel is pressed down. And then over that, one layer of really light fiberglass and a uh, organic epoxy resin. That's it, then the polish her up and surf it. Every day here, there's a, there's a kind of an ongoing discussion about sustainability. Everybody's always thinking about how to use less, how to reuse more, how to recycle, try new materials. The process of building boards obviously creates offcuts, and we save every piece of wood. And when the pile gets big enough, we'll start to figure out, well, what can we do with this stuff? And, and a lot of our products that are smaller are a result of that. Our hand planes and our belly boards and our skateboards. It allows us to take some of what might be waste and turn it into fun. If you were a surfer a hundred years ago, you, you built your own board. You know, there wasn't a way to go out and buy a board. And there was a connection that people had with their surfboard. It's a pretty amazing feeling, really, especially the first board that you ever build. Even just to stand in the water and watch it float, you know, and kind of push it and see it move and watch the water kind of shine. It's so fun to build your own, own anything, but a surfboard, it's just so great. And not to share that didn't seem right, so we were thinking from very early on, like, how can we help other people do this? And, and that's how the kits came along. We just put everything we used in a box and we sent them out. That next year we said, you know, let's introduce classes. There was a lot of people that were interested in kits that didn't really have the tools or were a little bit nervous. People come here for like a vacation and they just work for seven days. I've been totally dreaming about making boards um, for a long time. When this opportunity arose to make a board out of wood, probably like, you know, one of the greatest things that's happened recently. If you're building a surfboard here and you see it kind of slowly growing, little by little by little, it's like watching a tree grow over a period of years. And every day you're doing this, you can see it starting to take shape and then at some point you can start to really see the surfboard in it. Then you start imagining yourself on it. On days when there's waves, you can see everybody's a little bit more bordering on manic. They're like speeding everything up. They're, you know, they're, they're pumping through what they gotta do, pretty much out the door as soon as they can be to think that we're able to produce this quality product that's not just gonna last longer than almost any other modern surfboard, but that it's beautiful and also that it surfs, you know, remarkably well. When I'm building a board, I get this moment where, I, you know, it's, it's coming to the end and I'm starting to feel the rails and sensing what, what you've done and, and whether it's right. And I start to think about how the person who's gonna get this is gonna love it. They're gonna love it. <laughs> it's a great feeling.